Previously on The Potentialists. What the heck we're doing? History, information, knowledge. It looked pretty big. It was like Tales from the Crypts. He ended up going underground. Millions of people roaming around. I found the mouse. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. The BOA team was headed to its latest event in Orlando, Florida at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. This Disney resort was amazing. In usual Disney fashion, everything was super detailed. It was beautiful, it's really elaborate. Uh, you have these really humongous high ceilings with these balconies. Gorgeous hotel, Disney really knows how to do things right. Even had the atmosphere all set up. They had this classy guy on the piano, giving a nice mood to the place. Mm, he pulled me to the side and said, Mrs. Oh, would you like to check in? Oh, that works, that's cool. Out front they had these old cars, and it was really cool. And here we have a 19, I don't know, 20, 1929 Cadillac. Beautiful piece of machinery, look at that. We were in Orlando to speak to 200 plus women from the Hispana Leadership Summit. Every audience is different, every crowd is different. Belize, obviously we had a bunch of children who were in high school or so, so it was a bunch of young kids. This one that we're at was a women's event. 200 or so women. They were just there ready to learn and ready to get motivated. Burke gets invited to speak a lot at all women events. Not that he minds. One of the reasons that I really like going to women events is because of my mother. My mother was my father, my grandparent, my brother. My, she was everything to me. His message, I guess, affects mostly women. They connect with his stories. Being that I learned everything from her, majority of it, when I go on stage, I really connect with the women. And the messages are really strong and we, they can relate. In the speaking industry, a lot of people don't see past the speaker. People wonder why does a motivational speaker need such a huge team with them? Well, it's because it's not just about speaking, it's about connecting with the people at the events. You don't only hire Burley, but you hire Bowl World. We do all of our events around the world with a team. To pull these events off, we have to truly we work together as one unit, as a cohesive team. Sometimes you see us working, like on the 11th hour, right before we go on stage. So we can give the workshop a little bit more impact, or if there's something that one of us catches when we see it, we're like, oh gosh, we need to include this. We don't just give them the same experience every single time. We always strive for more. Let's get our hands together and welcome to the stage, Because the whole thing is to give everyone an experience. Are you guys ready? Yes or no? And when I started doing it, they told me, you're crazy. Crazy people what? You're made to succeed. The reason you don't have the lifestyle you deserve is because you haven't done what you're supposed to do. Yes. Just this stuff, yes or no? Yes. Seguimos. Sí. For this workshop, we talked to them about Body Talk. Body Talk's one of our workshops that we talk about body language and neuro-linguistic programming. Bert knows how to get them engaged, to get them energetic, to make them excited. It's always a cool turning point to witness during any of our seminars or workshops when Bert's about to do a breakthrough. And it's always funny to see because half the people think that it's fake and then when they're right up to the point where the breakthrough happens, they're like, wait, wait, this is gonna happen? Somebody's about to eat fire? We really thought that if that was just kind of like for show. When I saw the woman on stage about to do the fire, I, it was unbelievable. <laughs> I believe that we can do whatever we want to do. Honestly, I was freaked out and I felt like I was the one up there doing that because I was just, I was scared. We missed a lot of fun. You have to watch him wherever he goes next time. To have the audience be able to put that trust in him, to be able to captivate the, the audience's trust from the beginning. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Part of the reasons I love going to these conventions around the world is after you do your job, you get invited to go out and have the fun. We got invited to go to this VIP Epcot event, which was phenomenal. We get put on three huge buses, all the women, 
and the BOA team were all dressed in white. So we get to Epcot and there's this nice, really nice VIP treatment. We have a red carpet we get to walk on. Before you know it, you're actually in the middle of the park. It was really cool. And they have a whole setup ready for their annual Hispana picture with the Epcot ball in the background. It was great setup. They were supposed to be just pictures with women. They're not used to having men in the picture. Strictly women. They're taking the photos, all these women in white, and it's a beautiful photo, but there's an opportunity. LJ starts messing with me. So I was encouraging Bert. I was like, Bert, this is a great opportunity. We have to make him make it happen. And he starts saying, come on, get him to make it happen. And I'm like, no, you do it. And this conversation, they go back and forth, you know, it's real, they keep poking at each other. They don't know me, man. They know you. Come on, man. Hey, Bill. So then I told him, you're right, and I had to practice what I preached. Finally, Bert jumps in there and... In the moment, you just have, you gotta have fun with it. So I made it happen. What are you gonna do? Make it and we're gonna watch the fireworks right now. They had it nicely set up, there was even food out there. Desserts beyond belief and an entire spread that they had there. That little table set up for us. One of the things that Serge and I were going back and forth on is I told him, look, do you rather be here in the VIP session or over there with the rest of the people? And the reason I tell you this is not to belittle anyone, it's just that I've been on both sides. And let me tell you something, the VIP side is a lot nicer. <laughs> They were doing the fireworks and they had other things blowing up. I mean, we're so close. We could feel the heat coming in from the fireworks. And to be there with the team, it just made it all that much better. The afterward of the reception was held inside of the American section of Epcot. Very nicely set up. It felt like an elaborate wedding reception. Decorated phenomenally. They had fantastic food, drinks, and then the music started. And I love to dance. We had a great time interacting, mingling, and dancing with all these professional women that were there. It was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, we we're dancing with the stars. You know what it is to be one guy and 200 plus women? Overall, it was a great experience. I know everything you just saw, you're like, wow, did that all just happen? Everything happened in 24 hours. And these are the kind of jam-packed things that we do around the world, but we have a great time doing it with a great team. We danced, we ate, we drank, we had a good time. What can I tell you? It's part of the job. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?